Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. It is Sharon Wilson, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. I hope you're going well. It is Friday the 23rd of August 2024 and we are in the middle of the Designer Series paper sale at the moment. Uh, so until the end of August, Stampin' Up! have this amazing 15% off uh, selected Designer Series papers from the annual catalogue. Uh, so you get to save 15% uh, which works out to be about $18 48 I think is what you buy for a pack of paper instead of the 2175 I think 2125 20 so over 21 dollars uh, normally so it's a great opportunity to um, save and purchase the designer series paper um, getting ready for projects in the future so if you're a scrapbooker it's a great way to grab some designer series paper um, if you're a card maker it's a great way to buy the design series paper <laughs> it's a great time to buy um, the other thing that's actually been um, that's happened this week is um, so as probably many of you know close to my heart um, closed at the end of June um, sadly and and so Stampin' Up! did it um, were um, speaking with them and create a, um, an opportunity for the makers to actually join Stampin' Up, which is fabulous. And, and many have joined our community, which is awesome. Um, and so leading up to recently, it's only been um, close to my heart customers and demonstrators that have been able to purchase close to my heart products that Stampin' Up brought across. However, as of this week, anyone can purchase the close to my heart remaining products that are actually on the market um, if you're in the US or in South Pacific, which means that um, there are a number of products that are um, labeled as close to my heart products that Stampin' Up have brought across they actually purchased a whole heap of products um, and so there's only very limited products available however you can actually have a look at that now and you can purchase that even if you weren't a close to my heart customer uh, so that is a fabulous opportunity um, there's designer series paper there's dies there's stamps um, there's scrapbook packs um, there's lots and lots of products that are there so but as I said, it's only while supplies last. Um, and thankfully, Stampin' Up! are actually bringing out a whole heap more scrapbooking um, products, which I'm looking forward to having a play with once they start bringing them all out and um, bringing out different things, which will be very, very exciting, um, especially for the scrapbookers around. So um, what else is happening? Tomorrow I'm holding a Creative Escape, which is a card buffet. It's set up as a card buffet. So the idea is you come along, you um, uh, pay an entry fee, which includes up to 10 cards and also lunch. Um, and you can actually choose the morning or the afternoon session. So I've got two sessions happening, one from 10 till about 1, 1.30, and the other one from about 1 till 3, uh, till 4 one till four uh, so it's about three hours um, for each of them so if you'd like to come along and um, join me that would be awesome it is sixty dollars and up to ten cards plus lunch um, it's in my home so um, let me know if you can come I've made I think I've got ten card kits at the uh, kit ten cards for you to make um, and I'm actually working on a couple more today and tomorrow well, today, tonight. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll have about 12 or 13 available. Um, and there's about 15 to 20 cards in each of the boxes. So there's lots for um, people to come and create. Um, any additional cards, you can do more than the 10 cards. It's just $3 each card. So it's very, very easy, um, very simple. And I... Um, and I also have adhesive packs available and different adhesives and stuff available if you forget that, but bring your own toolkit. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to come, if you can come and I'll, um, yeah, there'll be room for you. Um, what else is happening? Oh, I have my creative, my Procrastinator retreat at the end of November as well, or to, in the middle of November, I should say, and um, registration's open for that. So check that out on my Stampin' Up! Stampin' with Sharon Facebook page. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I'm just having a look at the video and on, on one screen. It looks a bit fuzzy, but it's okay. All right. What we're working on today is we're working on the spotlight in nature. So this is the stamp set we're working on. So I've got two cards that we're we've I've got available to create tomorrow. Um, using this stamp set. So I'm using different stamp sets uh, for each of the boxes. So probably about, there's about two cards for each stamp set, I think. 
give or take. I can't remember. Um, maybe there's one stamp set that's only got one one card, but. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that um, you'll enjoy all the cards that I've created. Um, and yeah, so let's get started on this one. Um, so there's a, I've got two ideas first up and then I'm going to have a bit of a play. So let me know what you think. Um, I'll set that aside for the moment. But let's go. So this is the first card. So I've got all my little bits and pieces. So... This is one of the cards that you can create tomorrow. Um, so I'm just using the blending brushes, um, fairly simple technique really. Um, and you can see with this stamp set, uh, you don't really need a lot of products to make a beautiful card. Um, so I haven't actually used a lot. I've only used stamps, ink and the cardstock and that's it. Um, so let's have a play with this one. So I have um, a soft sea foam and lemon lolly. So with this card, I've actually done the uh, the lemon lolly down the bottom and the soft sea phone. I'm just going to switch them around. <coughs> Excuse me. I have my card. So what I've done is I've actually just got a bit of a card. I've just got a card base. Uh, sorry, I've got a card base and then I've got a card top. Um, but hang on, I just want to grab... Mm. I just want to grab a bit of scrap paper just to get some excess ink off. So. so all I'm really doing is just adding some ink just in a circle. I'm not being too pedantic about it because what there's no, no point to being too pedantic, I think. And then we've got the lemon lolly. Just blend it a tiny bit. And then with this stamp, I've actually mounted the thanks onto the block at the same time so that you just have to stamp the once and don't have to stamp more than once. So just ink it up. And then just stamp. Now the, the other thing you could do, um, so I haven't actually done this, but you could also emboss this piece. So you could do, you could stamp that and then you could actually emboss it and just add some extra texture to it as well. But I'm just going to leave it as is. I want to try and make it simple for you so it's easier to replicate. If you wish to replicate it. The other thing you could do, you could pop it up onto some dimensionals. Um, just a bit, give it a bit more definition. Uh, you could also layer another piece underneath. So you could layer a bit of lemon lolly or uh, soft sea foam underneath and just add a bit of extra. So I do have... Um, just to sort of show you what I mean. So there's some lemon lolly. So you could just lift it a tiny bit and add. So just the color just lifts the card a bit more. Um, so yeah, so that's another option you can do just to sort of step it, step up the card a tiny bit. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Just to show you that just simple cards can be really quite effective. And I just think that's beautiful. Like it's really simple, simple, simple. And then you've got your envelope and we just grab the top part of the stamp and just stamp that on there. And you've got a beautiful envelope with your card. So really, really simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, simple, simple card. 
So let's set that one aside. And I'm just going to clean this as well. So I've got my stamp and scrub. I'd already stamp, um, put stamp and mist on there. So the next one. this one so this is the next card and so I've got my <clears throat> I've got pre peacock and lost lagoon and I've got two pieces of cardstock with a strip so with this card I've got a smaller piece, which is, I think, 13 and a half centimetres, I believe. Yep, 13 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to stamp on this one, and then I'm going to um, do some blending, and then I'm going to do some, um, I'm going to add some dots to it. So let's do this one. So first off, I'm just going to keep the scrap paper to stamp on. <laughs> Save my grid paper a tiny bit, you know. So I've got pretty peacock and here are my leaves and I'm just going to stamp them one, two, three and I'm going to do dear friend onto the little strip. Put that one away and get my Lost Lagoon. <clears throat> so I've got my blending brush for Lost Lagoon. And I'm just going to do a bit of... It's probably a bit darker than what I wanted. <laughs> just add a bit of um, ink to around the leaves. Like that. And then the next bit is we've got our stamp and write markers. I don't use these anywhere near as much as I should. Um, and so I sort of had a bit of a play this week and I've seen so many demonstrators and so many people use this, but I've never really done it. But I thought, well, I'm just going to flick some ink onto the card because it just adds a bit of extra detail to your card without too much effort. So you've got, you can see that you've got the, um, just a bit of ink on that, on just a few dots here and there. And then we want our paper trimmer. Where did I put that one? And I've cut it at 13, uh, this is 13.5 wide, so I want to cut it at four and a half centimeters. And if I've stamped it correctly, ooh, there's an ant. If I've stamped it correctly, I should be able to get three pieces of four and a half. Just. <laughs> so I've got my three pieces. I'm just trying to keep them in a bit of order bring back our card base. So we've got our card, want a card layer, and I want to put adhesive on all three. And I'm just going to line them up. So that they sit fairly evenly, hopefully. All in the centre. Just like that. So I could have actually moved that over a tiny bit, but I prefer to have even all the way around 
and I'm happy to have a bit of extra space in the center here. And then our Lost Lagoon piece of cardstock, fold that in half. And we're just gonna glue that straight down, just using my liquid, uh, my stamp and seal. There we go. And then we have our little dear friend. And with that, my favorite way of making a banner is just like that. And we can pop that up on some dimensionals. So very, very simple. And again, we get our envelope and our, grid, our scratch paper. And we get our pretty peacock again. And again, we just stamp, add a bit of ink to the envelope. And I'm just putting a couple of things away so that I know that they're out of the way. And so there you have your second card. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got my cough. Um, yeah, so two very fairly simple cards uh, using the stamp set. So they're the ones I actually created and thought, yep, I can show you those two. Let's see what the next one's going to be because I'm not sure about. Um, so I have some Missy Moonlight Night of Navy um, inks as well as a cardstock. I need to just clean my stamp. This card I haven't haven't got in my head. I don't know what I'm. <laughs> I'm really not quite sure what I want to do with this one. I just thought, oh, I'll get. I'll get the Misty Moonlight and the Night of Navy out. Um, so this piece I think I'm layer onto there. Yep. All right, so in here we have a butterfly. So I thought I would use that one. Yep. My blocks. I think I'm going to do I'm just going to stamp the butterfly in Night of Navy and then I'm almost tempted just to do yeah I think I will I think I'm just going to make it really simple I've got my butterfly hovering over the flower. Um, I did bring over <clears throat> some more blending brushes. So what I might do is just add a bit of ink Just to the flower. Um, and I might just add a bit of ink to the butterfly too. Yep, I'm happy with that. Again, just again, a very, very simple, simple card. You don't need a lot of supplies to create some beautiful cards. And then, so I've got a Knight of Navy layer 
and then just layer straight onto the Misty Moonlight card base. So again, another simple, easy card. Really, really simple. Now, do I have an envelope I can use? Don't know if I have. Let's nick off with one from one of the other kits. So I might do the butterfly this time. go again another simple simple card simple and easy quick I mean it's taken me what 20 minutes to make the three cards granted I have had prep <laughs> I've already prepped them um, but you can see how easy it is to create a beautiful card um, just with very very limited limited products um, so another card, so let's move them. Um, so I've, I've picked up a, just an old card kit that I had floating around. So, yep. I have this card kit, I might as well try and use it. So <laughs> it looks like got in there, it's got basic grey smoky slate and then it's got some um just some designer series paper which i won't use at the moment um so i'll just i'll keep those pieces i have an extra spare piece of basic white um so let's i don't know how the basic gray is going to look but let's try it anyway So the card front's fine. We'll get a little scrap paper out again. This time, although I'm using basic grey, I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to need the grid paper for this. I'm going to add post-it notes. So these are the normal sort of post-it notes. These are very plasticky. Um, but I want to try and do, it's the first slot I could pick up. I want to do a strip. So let's see how I go with this one. So I just want to try and get it lined up so it's straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that one there. So I'm using the grid paper line so that as long as my cardstock is straight, I should be able to line up. Ah, come on. Line up everything. Okay, so I have my little strip, but I want to put that back onto here. Um, need to clean my stamps because I'm going to use them. I might actually take off my thank you all the thanks because I think I want to use that one and I have peach pie so grab another blending brush that's going to be not too <laughs> I haven't washed a lot of them so I need to <laughs> make sure I'm getting one that's a lighter color that I've used I'm just going to go straight down and 
and hope that it's been <laughs> hope that it's straight. And then my basic black, where did I put my basic black? Over here. My memento ink. And now, dear friend, what color was that in? That was in Pretty Peacock. So I think we'll keep that in black. And so I could have used basic gray, but I'll just use the black because I didn't want to get up and waste some time. So again, another really, really simple card that's, um, yeah, quick and simple, but it's quite effective, even with the basic gray underneath. Um, so I actually picked up this card kit literally just like a couple of minutes or a few minutes before I went live. Um, and so I didn't, yeah, I honestly went, I have no idea. I knew I wanted to do post-it notes, um, but wasn't sure what else. So this one, let's work with this one next. So. Um, I've got a basic black layer and I've got the um, smoky slate base. Now, you can actually see, it's actually fairly old, you can see the discoloration of the line, obviously that's been the sun. <laughs> so I'm hoping that that will actually cover it up and I think it will. It'll cover it up enough for me to not to stress about it. So with this one, let's try and do, let's try and do something similar, but we might just do a bit longer. Um, oh. Actually, no, I think what I want to do, I'm going to create a square. See if I can just create a square with the post-its. Um, um, there we go. I've, ah. Or I do it that way. I could do it that way. Um. Does that look square? Squarish? <laughs> Um, the other colours I have, I've got um, Pretty in Pink and Bubble Bath, so we might go with some Bubble Bath, actually. I think I've actually got a bit of residual of the um, peach pie, so it look, I think it's actually looking a bit muddy. This may not work. Um, I'm going to take those ones off, actually. How is that going to be? Oh, that's actually not too bad. Hang on. No, that's going to be not too bad. It is a bit muddy, but 
I'm not going to worry too much. Because these are sort of more plasticky, these post-it notes, um, it means that the ink stays on there, it doesn't dry. So maybe what I do is actually bring in some of the peach pie. with that and then I'm just going to leave the notes there and I'm going to stamp like that I'm going to throw these away because if I don't get them off my desk I'll probably put some ink into it, put some cards into it. Actually, I don't mind that at all. You can see that um, it's sort of pinky in the center and then it's peach pie around the, around the outside. And then I'll bring in my thanks. And oh, just wondering whether I can do. Oh, I should do peach. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I did bring over. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I did bring over this stamp set, the Sweetly Scripted. I might actually do that one. So I've tried to just use the one stamp set, but sometimes you need to, I need to um, change it up a bit. So I just grab my paper again and I'm going to just do black in the happy birthday and because of the length I'm actually going to go a bit to the left don't mind that at all. all right, so let's glue down our basic black onto our smoky slate just while the memento is drying. I don't normally advocate for putting glue onto the <laughs> base. Morning Yvonne, how are you going? There we go. All right. I think that uh, they are my cards for the day. So I've got um, two using post-it notes or equivalent, basically masking. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've created these two cards. And as I said, um, I pulled out a, just a card kit that I had left over from something and wanted to create <laughs> use up use up the card kit pretty much um i actually like i like the basic gray with the peach pie i think that quite that's um works quite well and then i've got my pretty peacock one i've got the knight of navy and misty moonlight one so i'm happy with those ones i think um yeah i think They've all turned out really quite well. Um, not too bad for 
not really knowing what I want to do this morning. <laughs> I knew I was going to play with spotlight in nature, um, but, and I only had two designs that I had in my head. <laughs> so I like the fact that I can actually, I can sort of come up with something fairly quickly once you sort of get the creative juices going. I am getting better. Um, I'm still not 100%. As you can hear, I'm still a bit croaky and I've got a, still a bit of a cough. Um, but I'm better than I was, so I apparently had para-influenza. I've never heard it before. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> so that's all I have for today. But as I said, I've, tomorrow I have my um, creative escape, which is my card buffet so if you've never been to I'm just gonna go picture in picture if you've never been to a card buffet a card buffet is when all the products you need and all the pieces you need are actually all in the one box and you just pick up that box there's a sample in there and you just create um, a card um, you the card that's actually in from designed in the box um, so you can use all the elements that are actually in that box to create a card um, so that's and then you can put that one back grab another one um, and so it's fairly easy fairly simple um, not a lot of um, like everything's pre-prepared for you and chopped ready to go so it's fairly easy um, I'll be on hand to actually give instruction if you need assistance but otherwise um, it's pretty much a yeah it's self-run <laughs> almost you can just turn up. I've provided all the bits and pieces that you need to create the cards. Um, there'll be lunch tomorrow, as I said. So there's two sessions, um, 10 till 1 and 1 till 4. Uh, so I'd love to see you come and join me and um, yeah, come and create some of these cards. So these are two of the cards that we're going to be creating tomorrow. Um, and then I've got a whole range of other cards as well um, with other different, different stamp sets and everything. Um, that you might want to come and have a look at. So that is all for today. Don't forget the designer series paper sale is on right now. And you can also buy anything scrap, um, anything on the site, which is close to my heart um, labeled. So you can purchase that as well. Um, anyone can purchase that now. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a very exciting time to be a crafter and um, exciting time to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator as well. So if you want to be a demo, you can, join up and be a demo um it's not you know, there's no requirements as such you can just purchase the starter kit um i'd love to ob obviously keep you and have you within my stamping community in my procrastinators team but i understand life changes um so thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a lovely weekend and i uh it will be a pre-recorded video next week because i'm going to be down in wollongong um, our girls are performing with the Millennium Marching Band um, at Southern Stars next week. So we're going to go and watch them and um, enjoy their performances. So I will see you pre-recorded next week and then the week after I believe I should be live again. So have a fabulous weekend and a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>